Hello, my name is Roland Jung from EPAN Canada. I want to talk about automation, but automation when it comes to your engineering phase, which is the EPAN Cogineer. This is today's solution or answer to configurate and to generate automatic schematics with a simple click of a mouse. Okay, so somebody up front can come and um, analyze how your macros should be placed. And it pretty much looks like this inside of ePlan. So let's say we have a project here, okay? And inside this project here, we want to add some more controls. Now, these controls can be actually picked up one by one where you say, okay, I want to create here some specific drives. I'm going to create here a new drive on uh, MA101. It's going to be a direct drive, a certain size. All these options you see here, this is my drive number two, or like this. And here you can simply hit the generate button and it actually takes a set of macros that were previously generated and it generates this new page. Now, of course, this simplifies a lot the creation of your schematics because you can go step by step. Uh, you can have you know different selections, different items. So it's basically taking what the ePlan macro has to offer with placeholders and bring it to the next level and configure some simple interface to actually generate, let's say, this these, these pages. So this is the Cogineer. Now, it can be pushed a little bit further because you can also take this Cogineer and say, uh, we want to have, for instance, something really complex, uh, a step-by-step -step, uh, selection. And here, I can just select my steps, steps, and it would generate my schematics. And you will see on the left-hand side, just boom, 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 boom generates maybe the whole configured machine. So the level of configuration is really entirely up to you and it really depends what type of industry you are in. Now in the past, some of you may have seen, so you can see here it's actually running a lot more and it's actually adding a lot more pages because it actually created all these individual pages based on these few checkboxes. So this is the Cogineer. Now, of course, if you do not have a macro project open, say I close it, this is what happens to your Cogineer. It's going to tell you here that the macro project is not available. Cool. Because it's really tied and it's putting the macro project on steroids, right? So it's really configuring your macros for the end user. Now, I'm not going to go too much in detail here. I'm going to talk about something older we had and what we did earlier. Some of you may actually know it. It's EC1. And here we actually used an intermediate Excel sheet. This Excel sheet would actually be of a certain format, very precise. And inside this Excel sheet, we would call up different macros and have them configured. This, in the intention of standardization, was really an awesome step forward. This is actually something that ePlan has in their portfolio for quite some time, taking Excel sheets to actually generate schematics to, to, to upfront generate maybe 60%, 80% of your schematics, and then you finalize whatever is to be customized. You know, So this configuration part is really cool. Now, in Cogineer, you can import such a file. All you have to do is get the Cogineer Advanced, install it, and then you have an option here to actually either run the regular Cogineer from a macro project or omit the macro project and generate from file. Now, when you do generate from file, as I said earlier, you are picking the typical file, the Excel sheet that you saw there, and it generates these schematics based on what you actually have. So as an example, I'm just gonna go here and show you, for instance, if I go to uh, pick uh, the uh, overview here, let's just see what that actually gives me. So it's called overview, that's the sheet. I just put overview in here, overviews, there we go, and I hit the generate button. It's actually going to read the specific, uh, oh, there is an issue, overview without the S, there we go, generate, and it will simply, from that point on, generate 
an extra file with eventually as it did in the past with some error messages. And there we go. So here we have some overview that was generated specifically this one here in particular. This is my part of my overview, right? It was like a graphic system of what I chose to place here in my uh, schematic. So the, the old previously used EC1 can still be used with the Cogineer. Cogineer gives you now two options because you can run with a configurator as long as, of course, you have a macro project that has some configurations tied in. So you can combine now the previous technology of the EC1 with the new technology of the Cogineer, which enables you to add more of those custom smaller sections. It's really an awesome way to dissect automation, to generate really automatically your schematics on one mouse click. The benefits is for sure the fact that your users do not have to know everything from the get go. So when you hire somebody new, it's a lot easier to get him on board because you just have to show him how to configure within your Cogineer the creation of the schematics and behind the scene everything was already pre-designed and designed so you can get people on board much much faster and as we move forward you show them how the macros work how can i automate my schematics eplan eplan cogineer this was rolling from retail eplan canada i hope you enjoyed this one thank you